Ah, ah, it's stinging weed. It's everywhere down here and it's trying to get me, but I'm not gonna let it because I got gloves on. I've got pants on. I do have short sleeves. I have to be careful, but I'm going to get some stinging nettle, stinging weed. I'm going to take it home and show you how to dry it, how you can drink this stuff all year long. It's so simple. It's so good. It's so good for you. You don't want to miss this video because this may be something you'll want someday to help you to stay healthy. If you're not healthy, maybe it'll help you get healthier in a lot of ways. It's just phenomenal. It's a weed that God created, I believe, specifically for us to have for medical reasons and for medicinal purposes. And I think it's very important. And uh, so I'm going to pick a whole bunch of it. It is everywhere here. I will show you. This is all stinging nettle right in here. All of this. And it goes on down this river. Uh, actually, literally for miles. You can find this stuff everywhere. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to fill, literally fill a five-gallon bucket with this stuff. It's going to take me a while to pick that much. But I'm going to fill a five-gallon bucket. And I'm going to take it home and I'm going to lay it out I'm going to dry it in the sun and it gets very very brittle just like it should and then it gets when it gets brittle I'll, I'll package it up then you can smash it up with your fingers so simple that you can just smash it and crumble it and I'll be able to save it in Ziploc bags and be able to drink it all year long and that's the purpose of it so I'm going to fill a five gallon bucket I'm just going to pick it kind of uh, not going to be real picky about it today i'm just going to pick um strands of it like this i'll clean it up when i get it home later as far as the stems and all that but i'm going to fill this bucket full and it is going to be a phenomenal thing for me and my wife to drink again throughout the year as the year goes so here we go I got my bucket full but let me show you how to identify stinging weed or stinging nettle now the ultimate way to uh, the ultimate way to identify uh, stinging nettle or stinging weed is to walk through a stinging weed patch that you're not sure if it's stinging weed or not with shorts on okay you do that with shorts on and I promise you it will let you know it's there all right and you'll get stunned now it's kind of an odd sting I've talked about it before in a previous video I'm not just doing this video for the heck of it. I am serious about this nettle tea. I think it's something that would revolutionize the medical world if they would actually delve into it, but they won't for various reasons. They will not. It's too good. I believe it is honestly too good. But look at this leaf. See the edges of it? Looks like a saw. Okay? You see that. I picked some leaves. I picked a few while ago that looked just like stinging nettle, and I put them in a the bucket. I looked at them like, whoa, whoa, wait, there's a smooth leaf. They weren't, they didn't have the saw tooth around the edges like that, so I threw them out. You don't want to throw any kind of leaf in there, you don't know what it is. Now, I probably more than like it, but it wasn't poison ivy, it wasn't going to hurt me, but I could identify the stinging weed by that saw tooth around the edge of that leaf. Okay, that's a pretty good sized leaf right there. Look at that. That would make probably a half a cup of tea, just that leaf right there by itself. But I challenge you to find this. You can also find it on the, the internet. You can find it on Amazon. I think Walmart sells uh, nettle tea. Uh, you can find it in various places and buy it and try it. I like to get my own since there's so much of it around where I live in the, here in Missouri. And like I said, it's about in every state that I know of. Now, I don't know about Alaska and the northern states, but down here, you walk down a river, you will find, you will find stinging nettle everywhere. I mean, it's just up and down these rivers, something fierce. But I'm going to take this back. I'm going to show you how to dry it. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's just a simple drying method. Ain't no big deal to it. But it gives you a little bit of peace of mind knowing that anybody can do it. Knowing, no, sorry about that. Knowing that anybody can do it. So we'll take this back. We'll get it on the drying table and leave it there for a day or two. And it'll be done. Package it up. Boom. Got tea for all year. All right. All right. I got my five-gallon bucket full right here. See that? 
five gallon bucket full of stinging weed, stinging nettle right there. Now all I'm gonna do is I have laid down some freezer paper on this deck right here, two layers of it. And I'm gonna spread this all along this deck here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it uh, spread it out. As you can see here, this will take me just a little bit. This is the next morning after we had it sitting out all night. You can see it's laying really, really flat. And today it will dry like you won't believe by the end of this day. And by the end of tomorrow, we will have probably it dried enough where we can uh, go ahead and harvest it, package it, put it away, and however we're going to do that. So. I'll show you the progress. I'll show you this evening what it looks like after it's been here all day. Still doing the drying process on our uh, stinging weed or stinging nettle. And made a little bit of a change. Uh, I uh, had that paper laying down, had all that stinging nettle on that paper, and it was working just great. And then some kind of a crazy wild hair wind came up and it kind of flipped everything upside down messed all that up so what i did where i had it all laying out here is i have it in these screen buckets right now and it's drying really good you can hear that okay that's telling you it's really drying out good so i set it in these screen buckets and hopefully that will help them dry i have two screen buckets here i use these basically for my minnows but uh I can tell by the way this is feeling, this is really drying really, really good. And as you see, I'm sticking my hand right down in there, but I'm not getting stung because they're so dry now. They don't have a lot of stinging properties. I can still get, I can, I can feel the little stickers on them. But anyways, I'm leaving in there for another day or two. It's 95 degrees here in Missouri at this point. And so this is going to really dry good in these buckets. And then we'll take them out, package them show you how we do all that and that's just pretty cool i think it's going to work good to look at the temperature check that out about 102 degrees that's pretty pretty warm still working on a screen project here which is another video hopefully i'll go up here and check the stinging nettle out all right let's see what we got here uh, whoo that has dried and shrunk down. That is so dry. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is so dry. It is so ready to package, put away. Yes, good shape. Check all that out. Pretty good stuff right there. All right, I'm gonna bag it up, show you what, I, what it looks like after I get it bagged and crushed. I am in the kitchen where it's cool. I'm telling you, it's hot out there today, which was good for my stinging nettle, my stinging weeds, because they dried so wonderfully. And don't tell my wife I set my minnow buckets on the stove. Please do not tell her that. Don't say a word about it. All right, but they're clean. They're clean buckets. I cleaned them good. See how dry this is? So dry. I mean, it, why wouldn't it be? Sitting out there on the deck all day long in 100 plus degree weather, a little bit of a breeze blowing, dried them out great. I'll find a lot of little stems in there, but them stems aren't going to hurt anything um, as far as what I'm going to do with this. I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. 
I am simply going to bag this up like this. Okay, put it in a gallon Ziploc bag because it's got a bigger opening. Just a good amount of it. I feel the stingers once in a while hit me on the hand or something. <clears throat> but they don't hurt. When they're in this stage right here, they don't sting you very bad. But I do know there are stingers. I can feel them. There's a nice big stem right there. Get that big stem out of there. And these stems have leaves on them, so I make sure to peel them leaves off them stems. Now, I'm going to shake this down real good. Zip her up. I'm going to squeeze the air out of it. How do I know how to do this? I'm making it up as I go. That's how. All right. I'm just, I'm just doing something that I think is common sense here, in my opinion. Okay, probably the best way that we have found to turn these leaves, these pretty good sized leaves, into fine uh, tea that you can uh, put in pods or a Keurig or whatever you want to put in. We did want a Keurig. It did okay. Um, it wasn't a strong tea, but it still tasted fine. So I've got me, I got this full of leaves. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm telling you, this really works good. You go ahead and, 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 and close your bag, crush it down. I left a little bit of it open. I'm just crushing this really good right now. Crushing it, smashing them leaves. And I can only get it so far doing this. Mm. Now, that big old bag of leaves is about half of what it was. Now what I'm going to do is I'm pouring this in a ninja ball. Uh, container right here some our little ninja right here we have a bigger container than this but this in here works for small batches of stuff like this tea we're doing i fill this thing up with it okay just fill it up it may make a mess a little bit but i'll clean it up okay there stuffing it down in there top on here there this on here like this there I'm gonna hit this not a lot stop me fall down enough okay take it out of there watch this I'm pour on this plate right here this is what it did to those leaves I just had in there look at that green gold green gold right there i can pick through that a little bit find some little bitty stem but they ain't gonna really mount anything see that that is a great great product right there of tea and it's about the right consistency as, as regular tea that's how you want to do it folks that's the best way we found to do it right there that's it i can guarantee that'll work tea pod right here to screen I know most of you have seen this and used them and that kind of thing. I, I know that. But whatever. Here we go. I'm peeling this up right here. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to put some on both sides here because I want this thing full of tea. And this will probably make four to five cups easy. Well, no. Probably three. Three cups at the most. Okay. Let's go down to three cups. Two and a half. Just do two and a half cups. Yeah, yeah. Two, all right, two cups. All right, it'll make two cups. Two cups for sure. Nah, we'll see. All right, I got it all in there. I'm going to shut it. Shut it fast because it's going to flop everywhere. Okay. I've never done this before with this. Well, sort of like this, but nothing exactly. Got it. I captured it. Now I'm going to shut this clip here. There, it's shut. That is pretty full right there. If you can see that, that is pretty full. It's got a little air at top, but not much. All right, I'll get my water going. We'll put that in there. I'll show you. We are boiling. All right, here we go. Teapot down in there. And I'll here in just a minute, I'm going to show you something. In fact, I can show it to you right now. That water is turning green already see that green tint to it it's turning green but that is exactly four cups measured okay I measured four cups and um, just wanted to see how that would do 
And it's four cups exactly, and the water's turning good color there. We'll let this boil for just a few, uh, probably three or four minutes. Just let it boil. Then I'm gonna put a lid on it, let it steep, and let it cool down a little bit. Take it out, I'm gonna drink a cup of it. So, it's gonna be lots of fun. All right, the tea is done. As you can see, it's pretty dark. Now there's a little bit of stuff in the bottom of the pot, not a problem. I'm gonna strain this cup uh, through this cup right here with a strainer. I am going to put in a little packet of uh, stevia right here in the raw. It just kind of adds a little flavor to the tea. Again, the tea don't taste bad. It tastes fine by itself, but I'm just going to make it just work just a tad sweeter. So let me get my camera up here on my head. <laughs> if I can do that when I make it. All right, I've got my camera on my head now then. I'm going to pour this here tea. First, I'm going to drop my stevia in there. Let's do that. Yeah, I need to do that first. Yeah, there you go. I'll pour it through this strainer. And the only thing I did uh, additional, when I had that one pot in there, I had four cups, measured cups, four in here. And when I had... Uh, when I had that one pot in there, I didn't I didn't think it was strong enough, so I went ahead and took the pot out and put more uh, stingy metal in that screen pod, and then it, and then boiled it then and steeped it for a little bit, and it turned out just perfect as far as darkness goes. As you can see right here, that's some pretty good color in that tea right there. In the world of tea, I'm telling you that just looks good right there. Okay, looks good. I already got my sugar in there. So, I'm doing this by myself. Let's try this tea right here. You wanna try it with me? Just try it, see how it is. Hmm, that was really good. Really good. Again, the medicinal benefits of, of a stinging nettle, Google it yourself. Find out what it'll do for you. And uh, you can go find you some on the river. There's about some in every river in the country, I suppose. Yeah, now you can find about anywhere. And most farmers, they have a river bottom, they'll let you go get it because they don't care about no stinging weed, as long as you be kind to their property. But um, it's just pretty good stuff. It's really good for you. You need to check it out. I thank you for watching this here video, part two of Stinging Nettle. And I hope to see you on the next video, which is coming around the corner real soon.